Hello everyone and welcome back to part 2 of our Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order playthrough. Uh, last video we escaped the ninth and second sister. Uh, we got rescued by some mysterious allies and we are now on board their ship, the Mantis. So we're just going to take a wee look around the ship for those of you who don't know. Um, so this circle on the ground here um, it's, think of bonfires from Dark Souls. They're your safe points, your checkpoints, when you rest at one, all the enemies nearby respawn again. Um, so that's how these work, but it's also where you upgrade your force abilities that you unlock as you progress through the game. Um, so, back here. Can't use this just yet, so we're gonna wait until we can use that before we show you, but let's head to the hall map and find out where we have to go now. song. I wrote it. Years ago. You touch an object and witness events connected to it. You feel its history. It's an echo in the force from the object. Well, not many Jedi have that skill. How would you know that? I was once a Jedi. But not anymore. Do I know you? No. But I knew your master, Jaro DePaul. He was a true guardian of the Republic. He was a hero. Listen. Something happened to me during the purge. I survived, but... My connection to the Force is damaged. When I meditate, if I let my guard down, I lose control. It's like I'm back in that moment when... You survived, Cal. And you're not alone. Not anymore. We'll come up on our destination. This is Bagano. A Jedi I knew discovered it before the Purge. You won't find it on any maps. The Empire doesn't know this place exists? No. So? What's the plan? Will you hide out here? We're done hiding, Cal. See that structure over there? I believe that vault holds the key to rebuilding the Jedi Order. But it requires someone strong in the Force to pass its test. And since you're not a Jedi anymore, that's why you need me. I know you don't trust me. And I'm not really sure I trust you. But we have a common enemy. And a common cause. I'll share more of my plan after you reach the vault. But, until then, there's someone here I think you should meet. May the Force be with you. I'm looking for a Jedi then. But if there's already one here, why does Seer need me? So we're now on our first planet, Megano. And our objective is that big spy over there, so. These few things are hilarious, I think. This looks like a safe place to meditate. Just need to focus my mind. Yeah, so this is what I've said, these are like the bonfires in Dark Souls. So it's the rest and you meditate. Um, 
There's the tutorial. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so let's take a look at the skills that we have available to us right now. I don't really have one, so. I guess that's all we'll learn. So we can now do a heavy attack. Very useful. Seer mentioned. Whoever I'm supposed to find must be waiting there. Uh, we now have our own hollow map. So there's a lot of areas to explore in Jedi Fallen Order. Um, on the maps, there's like hidden chests and things to unlock different customization options and things. I probably won't be doing much of the exploration to find these items on video uh, just because it can be quite boring uh, I don't think that's what you people want to see um, so I might do a lot of that off camera but if you let me know in the comments if you would like to see a full exploration um, we can try that different areas are locked to you throughout the game unless you learn the new force abilities to access them so on the map you'll see these yellow barriers um, we can proceed there red barriers well there is at the top right so yellow is unexplored green means we can enter there red means we can't until we've unlocked a new force power um, so right now we've just got full BD1 I think but let's go take a look I sense something over here. There's a big alien over there, though. Let's deal with these weak crabs. Really big bug. Stand still. That makes it a bit simpler. I haven't done this yet. No. I was after boggling eggs in the pack fought back. No way through here. I guess that's why BD1 warned me. All right, maybe I'll listen to you next time. Somehow. Zipline? <laughs> Whoa! Fight that How'd you know that would work? Let's get our health. Wait, you didn't? Careful over there. That doesn't look safe. Just like back at the scrapyard. Hold on, anyone. I'm coming. Some, some, 
certain giant maga with the legs. It's disgusting. Hey, that was pretty brave. You okay? Wait, I can help you with that. Will you let me? Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, your scomp link is busted, but this should help you get moving for now. Okay, try that. The vault? Yeah, that's where I was headed too. Okay, well, first we gotta figure out a way out of this place. Okay, and here is what uh, the workbench in the back of the ship was for. That is to customize your lightsaber. So, right now there's only three colors available. Blue, green, and orange. The premium content, don't worry about that. Everyone has access to premium content now. So even if you're just getting the game, you'll be able to access everything that's including the premium content. So let's see. A Baron campaign. This run with that looks pretty cool. Nice gold in colour. He doesn't like gold. That's not really going to make a difference. Um, let's hey, you mean looking good. I believe that's everything in here. Yeah, it would seem so. Uh, BD, that's a little small for me. Don't worry, I'll find my own way out. <laughs> Tight fit, but this should work. Yeah, we can go that way, but let's just explore a little bit more, see what's right here. Whoever lived here used this room for storage. They kept food and supplies. Ladder. Some upgrades for BD. Those vines look like they lead somewhere. Hope they're sturdy. Well, that's me. There we go. surprises <clears throat> that's better thanks little droid okay let's try this again oh, uh, okay <laughs> here hop on board so how'd you get here Oh, well, now we can heal ourselves. Very useful. Don't remember? I've never known a forgetful droid. Can't argue with that. Oh, uh, no, sure. Hey, a chest. Think the Jedi would mind if we grab supplies? Did you find something, BD-1? Uh, 
That's where we need to go. I can feel it. Just take a wee look up here quickly, see if there's anything for us. Can't reach those chests just yet and to have the double jump ability for that. So, down we go. Make it over there. We gotta, we gotta find, find another, another way. way. So we've got to go down. <laughs> <laughs> Tool was used by someone eager to reach the vault. Let's just rest here. That's the most good points. Oh, there's a chest back there. So like I said, I won't do much of the exploration, but, uh, well, recording, but if I do see a chest, I will go for it, of course. Ah, now we can change our outfits. Not very ponchos, but... I do quite like the default colour scheme for the Mantis. Uh, but gold squirt. Well, we'll run that just now. Uh, apparently, cow can't run through veins. Right, I'm in there. That's a big boy. I can't actually remember if these work like the bonfires in Dark Souls where you actually have to rest at them to have unlocked them essentially. Um, so I'll just rest at each one just in case. Uh, there's an echo up there but I don't think we can get that. I can't jump up there just now. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm not BD can apparently do such a great. Alright. Well, I don't think we can get anything else in here without new abilities, so let's just keep going. Because we're about to unlock our first force ability. But, hello! Please don't meet me. I'm looking for 
looking. See something in there? Again. It's difficult, Master. Yes, the path is difficult. It may seem impossible, but with persistence and the Force as your ally, you will overcome any obstacle. You will master any path. Now, do what you must to reach me. You have to press X at the end, you can't just hold it. Good. There we are. Now, reach my position. And now we can run more. I did it. Persistence and the force is my ally. Just remembering old tricks. Think you can show me that shortcut again? I don't love his bees at uh, flame effect. Well, nice. Strange alien statues. Find out more about them later on. But here we are, coming up to the vault. Racy there? Oh, it's on! Um, he can live. We're not finished yet. Okay, okay, he probably would've won. Probably. But we got in skill points, so let's rest and take a look at what's because we can lock. So... Maximum force is very useful because any of your force abilities or lightsaber abilities use force points. So the more of them you have, the more you can do. So probably get that. You can also see that you need to unlock certain skills before you can unlock other ones. So I say we go for maximum force first. that made the engines a bit bigger.
right, BD? Well done, whoever you are. You have passed the test I left behind and gained access to the vault and this recording, one of many encrypted logs stored in the droid. I am Master Ino Cordova. I may not know your name, but I know your purpose. The fate of the Jedi Order lies in your hands. This place, this vault, is a sacred temple built by a vanished civilization known as the Zephyr. Meditating here, I was granted a premonition through the Force, a vision of doom. I have placed inside this vault a Jedi holocron containing a list of the names and locations of young Force sensitives throughout the galaxy. Ahead, you will find the inner chamber of the vault, but also another test. I can only trust this holocron to someone who has followed my path and understands. Seek out the hidden tombs of the three sages and learn to perceive the mysteries of the Force as the Zephyr once did. In this droid, you will find everything you need to succeed on this journey. Go to the Zephyr homeworld. There, you will find peace in the eye of the storm. Good luck, Jedi. And may the Force be with you. I guess you were the someone I was supposed to meet. You know, I've been alone for a while now. Without any purpose, just hiding. There's no way to live. Not for a Jedi. Or a droid. Maybe Seer was right. Maybe we're done hiding. Hey. You want to meet some, uh, friends of mine? So, we now have our quest to find the three tombs and then get access to the Holocron. Um, for those of you who are fans of Fallout 4, you might have recognised the voice of the Jedi Master there. It is Tony Amendola, I believe I'm pronouncing that correct. Uh, he voices Father from the Institute. Uh, so, I know quite a few of you are fans of Fallout, so you might have recognised the voice. You me to see. Sounds like you did. We'll be waiting. Skills. Ah, here we go. I don't know just fight for anything that you throw at me. system there yet. My friend, it appears the Zepho had some interest in death of you. For such a peaceful culture to have any sort of fascination with a place so dark. Hey. 
So, Clone Wars fans, you recognise the name Dathomir and Star Wars Legends as well, I guess. Um, that is the homeworld of the Night Sisters and also the same species as Darth Maul. So, it's a like dark side of the Force. Uh, it's very strong on that planet. So, it seems we now have a choice. We can go to Dathomir or we can feeling, go to Zephyr. Good. I'm glad. Uh, so let's head back to the Mantis. Okay. Started the animation, but stopped. There we are. I find the real fit on the Mantis. First. We will be going down there later. You can see him down there, that is a boss fight. Uh, I'd like to wait until I've got a few more force abilities um, before we fight him, or uh, I'll do it and start in the next episode, because this episode's um, running on for a bit now. But we will definitely be coming back to fight him. What you have to. Boggling, that's what these wee things are called. Little space chamawas. Or corgis. You passed the test. So you knew about BD1? Come on board. We'll talk inside. Oh, BD1, this is Grease. Hey, Grease. What is that? Get off my sofa! Get, get off my sofa! No! Get out of there! Get out! That is BD-1. He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stains out of petroleum me fabric? Not really. Oh, I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Grease. He did. Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. It contains a list of Force-sensitive children. The next generation of Jedi. I knew it! Ah, oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. I was his apprentice. Cordova was a loner. And that little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. A hollow what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. Use the Force. This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. With that list of Force Sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's get it! Well, except the Holocron is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it, we have to follow Cordova's path. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zeppo homeworld. All right, well, where are we going? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. Look. Before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? I had an experience that changed my perspective. So I cut myself off from the Force. But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Cal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Are you with us? We're in. Dathomir Zepho, it's your choice. So yeah, as they just mentioned, we can go to Dathomir or Zepho now. Um, Dathomir is the harder planet, because uh, story-wise it makes more sense to go to Zepho first. Um, 
so I think we'll go to Ziffel first for this playthrough. Last time I went to Dathomir first, um, like I said, it is a lot harder, the enemies there. Um, and you get a pretty cool upgrade for your lightsaber there. But uh, we shall go to Ziffel first because it makes more sense for the story for this playthrough. Uh, but this is where we're going to end episode 2 here. Um, so next episode we'll be heading to Zepho and seeing what adventures await us there. So take care everyone, have a good day and join me again soon.